Hello listeners. Welcome back to SpeakHack, your easy learning channel. Today we are going to study about different color revolutions in India. Agricultural revolutions in India marked the beginning of a completely new era in various socio-economic fields. Let us look at them one by one. The first one is white revolution. Related with dairy, milk production. Verghese Karian known as the father of the white revolution in India. He was a social entrepreneur. His operation flood. The world's largest agricultural dairy development program made India the world's largest milk producer. This revolution made dairy farming India's largest self sustaining industry, with benefits of employment, incomes, credit, nutrition, education, health, gender parity, and empowerment, breaking down caste barriers and grassroots democracy and leadership. Operation Flood, launched in 1970 was a project of India's National Dairy Development Board which was the world's biggest dairy development program. Next one is Green Revolution. Related with agriculture production. The Green Revolution in India was a period when agriculture in India increased its yields due to improved agronomic technology. Green Revolution allowed developing countries, like India, to overcome poor agricultural productivity. It started in India in the early 1960s and led to an increase in food grain production, especially in Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh during the early phase. The main development was higher yielding varieties of wheat, which were developed by many scientists, including Indian geneticist M. S. Swaminathan, American agronomist Dr. Norman Bolag, and others. The introduction of high yielding varieties of seeds and the increased use of chemical fertilizers and irrigation led to the increase in production needed to make the country self sufficient in food grains, thus, improving agriculture in India. Next one is Blue Revolution. It is related with fish production. The term Blue Revolution refers to the remarkable emergence of aquaculture as an important and highly productive agricultural activity. Aquaculture refers to all forms of active culturing of aquatic animals and plants, occurring in marine, brackish, or fresh waters. Next we look at Silver Revolution. It is related with egg production. The Silver Revolution refers to the period in which the production of eggs was tremendously increased. It was done by the help of medical science and more protein-rich food for the hens. It was same as the Green and the White Revolution in India. The next one we see has an interesting name. It is Round Revolution. Related with potato production. Round Revolution is the revolution adopted by the government of India for the increase in production of potato. This revolution is aimed to make the production doubled or tripled instead of single annual increase. The next important one is Black Revolution related with petroleum production. The basic aim of Black Revolution is to increase the amount of crude oil production. With this plan, the government of India plans to accelerate the production of ethanol and to mix it up with petrol and produce biodiesel. Now let us see Yellow Revolution. Related with oil seed production. Yellow Revolution is the sudden increase in the production of edible oil due to plantation of hybrid oil seed like mustard, sesam, etc. Basically Yellow Revolution. The oil seeds production scenario in India has witnessed a dramatic turn. The country achieved a status of self-sufficient and net exporter during early 90s. In a span of just a decade. An all time record oil seeds production of 25 million tons from annual oil seed crops was attained during 1996 97. Next one is Pink Revolution. Related with onions, prawns, and pharmaceuticals. Another good one is Brown Revolution. Related with leather, cocoa. A brown revolution is happening in the tribal areas of Vizakapatan and district. The tribal people are being taught, and encouraged, to grow socially responsible and environment friendly coffee to cater to the demand from developed countries. The coffee board has embarked upon the challenging campaign of promoting the coffee grown in these remote areas as niche coffee for markets in the West. 
niche coffee, determined by consistent quality and the socio-economic well-being of the local people, is a $55 billion market worldwide. The last one is Golden Revolution. Related with overall horticulture, honey, fruit production. The rapid growth in the production of diverse horticultural crops such as fruits, vegetables, tuber crops, flowers, medicinal and aromatic plants, spices and plantation crops is known as Golden Revolution. It led to increase in production of fruits, vegetables, flowers, aromatic plants, spices, etc. Golden Revolution made India a world leader in the production of mangoes, bananas, coconut and spices. Golden Revolution provided nutrition and sustainable livelihood options. In India, a period between 1991 to 2003 is termed as Golden Revolution. Thank you listeners. Till now we've seen different revolutions helped India to grow in different areas. Keep watching our channel. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you.